Hey there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's video, I'm going to show you what will be likely the new features of WordPress 4.1. So uh, I'm using WordPress 4.1 beta, so I can see what version of uh, my WordPress, which I'm using now on the right bottom corner of your screen, and I'm using development version 1.1 beta 1. So if you want to uh, try this development version, please do that in your uh, local uh, server or uh, in another demo website, not in your live site or your real site. So uh, let's get uh, started. So first uh, feature that you can uh, see immediately is the new theme, which is 2015. So if you go to appearance and themes, uh, we are now using 2015. So if I'm going to visit my site in new tab, this is the 2015 uh, theme, which uh, looks clean and uh, nice. So let me close uh, my front end. And the next uh, feature is the um, uh, language pack that you can install from your dashboard. So if I scroll down and if I go to settings and general, and we're going to scroll down, you see that the site language, which is now active, is showing English uh, United States. However, if you click on that um, arrow button, you can see in the drop down menu what uh, language are installed at the moment in your site, which is now uh, on my site showing uh, English and uh, Indonesian language. And you can see here available, uh, you can see here. So if I minimize my window, let me minimize my window. And if I, for example, now I want to uh, uh, install language pack that I know, for example, I now want to install a uh, German language which is, which is called Deutsch in this uh, drop down menu. I'm just going to select it and then I click on save changes. And the uh, language are now changed to uh, uh, German language. Note for this language pack, you can just save it if your server allow it. However, if your server doesn't allow it, it will not uh, showing the, or if you uh, or it will not uh, enable you to install the language pack inside uh, your dashboard. So now, if I uh, click on that drop down menu, I have three languages installed at the moment. So if I want to switch back to English, I just select that and then click on. Uh, uh, saving uh, setting and now I have my English language back inside my dashboard. So that was the first uh, uh, feature of WordPress 4.1, I mean the second feature, sorry, after the theme. So the next uh, feature that I can see is the text editor, uh, free distraction of your uh, post editor. So uh, let me now click on my post and all post. And because I've created many posts, so let me just edit the post. And this is the uh, uh, post editor that you see in the recent version, which is uh, 4.0. However, if I click on that distraction free writing uh, in the new version, it will uh, bring, uh, it will hide uh, all of the uh, sidebar menu here um, away from your text editor. So if I start to type here, so hit enter and typing or make your keyboard uh, active, uh, it will hide uh, immediately the uh, toolbar on and the menu bar. However, if I hover it on the right side, say I want to change this uh, format post as quote, for example, it will uh, show you the menu bar and the options again. So if I go again here and start typing or hit any keys on my keyboard space or anything, it will uh, hide your um, menu bar immediately. However, you can disable that if you click on uh, this distraction free writing uh, icon back. So as you can see, it's now uh, not active anymore. So I can just typing as usual uh, if you are not used to the uh, new version of this uh, distraction free writing. So if you want to enable this again, you can just click uh, this icon back and forth and it will activate it. So let me now show you the uh, version, the uh, latest version of WordPress at the moment. So I'm using now uh, in this demo 
again the version 4.0 just to show you the difference so in the uh, current version if you click on this uh, post editor it will change um, anything however if you click on that distraction free writing the same icon it will somehow change your screen which I personally never use it because I find this is not so comfortable to use but I know some people use that so it's uh, de uh, depends on your personal preference and uh, as you can see here in this uh, page I cannot uh, choose any uh, category or any other menu bar and what uh, what I can do is uh, I'm just going to exit full screen and then it will show me back this uh, post editor so uh, it was the difference between the WordPress 4.0 and the uh, 4.1 beta at the moment so you just can use uh, this button just to see what uh, best preference that you would like to use and it will just uh, uh, be flexible as your prefer uh, preference and the next is the ability to edit image from uh, visual editor so let me show you uh, what I mean so now if I want to add image so I'm going to add media and select like files and let's see now I want to uh, use from my dashboard I'm just going to open this image and say I type er already the title and everything the info here and I want to insert into post just click that button and now if I click that I see that there is a, a image editor inside the visual tab here so you can align left or align center or align right and even remove alignment and edit it from here and even remove it so let's go back to the current version which is WordPress 4.0 uh, and same again at media and it's into post and here as you can see if I click that you can just see the edit uh, button and then the remove uh, button there so that's the difference that I can find in WordPress 4.1 uh, beta at the moment so thank you guys for watching this short video please like this video it would be really, really helpful for me and I will really appreciate that. And uh, see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.